Up next here on France 34, it is a Truth or Fake, our daily fact-checking segment in association with the France 34 observers. I'm pleased to say uh, James Creedon is here with me Hi, now. Tom. Hi there, James. We're going to begin in the Democratic Republic of Congo because a photograph that claims to show the former president, Joseph Kabila, in the company of a controversial figure. And I'm guessing here that uh, things aren't quite as they seem. Good guess. Indeed, this is not entirely factual. I've given the whole thing away now, but I'll, I'll show you how that all came to be online. Now, this is an image. Uh, let's take a look at this Facebook image. It was published on the 2nd of October by uh, Mr. David Bellar. You can see there the, the photo in question. And what it claims to show is Joseph Kabila, who uh, was the longtime president of DR Congo from 2001 to 2019, uh, along with Jamil Mukulo. Now, Jamil, Jamil Mukulo is the ex-leader of the Allied Defence Forces, the ADF. They're originally a group from Uganda, but they've also operated in DR Congo. He is now... Uh, He's accused. Uh, he, he's essentially being accused of uh, of uh, war crimes, and uh, his organisation uh, claimed uh, formalised links with the Islamic State group in 2019. So he's, I guess, you could say a jihadist. Now this photo goes back to a time when he, he would not have ha had uh, affiliations with Islamist groups uh, in the past. But in any case, it's 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 claiming to portray a, a photo linking Joseph Kabila. To, uh, to this gentleman at that time. And it says it in uh, black and white up here in the commentary of uh, the image. Uh, it says, if, we, if, we, um, if you can see these dangerous liaisons here between Joseph Kabila and Jamil Makulu, who is uh, the head and, and responsible for killing Congolese in cold blood in the east of the country. So certainly it's not, uh, it's not a, a connection that uh, Joseph Kabila would want to have made. And that is uh, not the first time it's happened. Now, our, our journalist, uh, uh, Aude de Jev, has been looking into it today but uh, because it surfaced again recently. But it, it surfaced a couple of times over the years, as you often see with fake images, that they can make a resurgence. Now, if you do a keyword search in Google Images, you actually find this uh, this photo. Now, if you can notice there, it's from, it, it looks quite similar to what's going on in the, in the, in the photo that claims to be uh, alongside Joseph Kabila. And it's actually from this uh, video. And uh, it's so, in, in fact, what happened here is Joseph Kabila was, uh, was photographed alongside a completely different person who is uh, Jao the Matos. He's a, a general, an Ang Angolan general. They were supporting, um, Angola was supporting DR Congo uh, during uh, the Second Congo uh, War. So this is the reason for this particular encounter. It's not the same man at all, as you can see here. So that, so through a keyword search in Google Images and through comments that were made on, on the Facebook publication, it was possible to ascertain again, because this has already uh, resurfaced in the past, that it's not uh, what it claims uh, to be. And that's even a BBC uh, publication uh, going back to the original meeting uh, between uh, those two men, the Angolan, uh, the Angolan Jao uh, de Matos and Joseph Kabila. Now, it's, it's worth pointing out that uh, this can be particularly damaging for the legacy of a politician. Uh, if, you, if, if, if there's any grain of truth in a claim like that, it can be believed. And if, if you uh, dig into it, there are uh, there are accusations uh, that the Democratic Republic of Congo under uh, under Joseph Kabila or even his father, Laurent Désiré Kabila, uh, may have funded uh, the ADF back at a time uh, when, uh, the, when uh, uh, during the Second Congo War uh, to fight against the Ugandan army and Rwanda, indeed, in the east of the country. So if there's a grain of truth or suspicion that could allow a photo like that to be believed, then, of course, people won't question it. And that's, uh, that's the problem when it keeps resurfacing because it certainly casts uh, Joseph Kabila in a negative light and is damaging to his legacy. OK, thanks for that. Let's go to Guinea next because uh, a video has been circulating there as well as in France. Uh, this in the aftermath of President Alpha Condé being overthrown, of course, in a coup d'etat. Uh, tell us a bit more about this, James. That's right. So this is all very fresh in the news here. A lot of talk about Alpha Condé. This is a... Uh, equatorial uh, Guinea Conakry rather and uh, the, the the overthrow of Alpha Conde. Let's take a look at these pictures uh, which were circulating on Facebook, Tom. <laughs> Libere Alpha, Free Alpha, Free Alpha, scenes that uh, supposedly took place on Paris's Place de la République. Now, this is uh, what has been claimed in one, uh, in one particular uh, uh, um, Facebook share. You can see it up here, Place de la République, 
uh, Place de la République, it is not. And it doesn't take a sleuth, in fact, if, you, if you're familiar with Paris's Place de la République, to look at those images again and, and question that. In fact, these uh, pictures were taken in Le Havre. Uh, it was a, a group of NGOs that were, uh, that were coming together in defence of a, a young Guinean migrant by the name of Alpha. Uh, that was his first name. Uh, he was... Uh, it, it, he, he was being detained because it was, it, it was thought that he was not being honest about being a minor, being underage. In fact, it turns out he was, and he is still now resident in France, uh, uh, that young uh, Guinean migrant Alpha. So it had absolutely nothing to do with uh, that event in question. And our uh, journalists have contacted uh, the association Les Lits de Solidarité, or Beds in Solidarity. They were giving housing or uh, overnight facilities to some of these uh, people in this situation. So there you go, go again. A scene that was kind of trying to show this big uh, groundswell of support in France for Alpha Condé's situation it had nothing to do with them at all. Indeed. Uh, Place de la République, uh, as you've never seen it before, with <laughs> rather different flora and fauna than uh, what we're used to. Exactly. Thank you very much Thanks, indeed, Tom. James Greedin. Thanks for today's edition of Truth or Fake.